Swole Benji here. Today we're going to be discussing the War Gloves and how you can be ready for when they go live, everything that you should be doing before these things come out and hit the servers on live. We're going to go over it right now. Let's get right into it, okay? So the very first thing is that if you want to use the War Gloves, you're going to want to have a whole lot of combat fame credits at the ready, and here's why, okay? So as soon as this weapon comes out, uh, let's just use Quarterstaff as an example, right? You don't want to have to use just crappy tier 4 ones. You want to be able to use the highest tier that you can afford if these weapons are good. But at the same time, you don't want to have to be stuck with no spells unlocked and no passives unlocked. So what you want to do is, if you don't plan to use tier 8... Uh, you just need to get to level 85, and so you're going to be using fame credits for that. So to get to 85 on most weapons, it's about 4.5 million, maybe a little bit more, uh, since I have level 5 quarter staff. But the point is, is that you want to have at least 4.5 million fame credits so that you can unlock every single passive on the War Gloves tree. And it's, it's going to be in an entire weapon tree, guys, okay? So, like, like it's just going to be wedged in somewhere in the warrior section, which is, uh, I believe, swords and axes and stuff like that. Uh, so, but at the same time, if you want to be able to use tier 8, which you should, you, you're going to want at least 7.3 to 5,000, right? But not only that, you want more fame credits because you don't want to have level 1 spec in these gloves. You want to be able to hit... And punch and kick really hard and deal lots of damage. But you want you want at least about 50. So there's another 3 million fame credits there. Right? So that's what, like 10? Just, just shoot for 10 to 11 million fame credits. I've got 24 million saved up because maybe I want to use multiple gloves. I don't exactly know. But the point is, is that you need to save up as much fame credits as possible before these gloves drop. If, if they're good. Now... Knowing SBI, they're going to put it on the test realm, so we will be able to test damages, values, and all the skills with a fully unlocked tree. So that's something that we'll be doing. I'll be, just, I'll be testing it on this channel. I'll be taking the War Gloves and seeing just how exactly they perform. But now there's a, f there's a lot of other things that you also need to do to prepare for this, because every time new weapons come out, like do you guys remember when the Avalonian weapons came out? The market went crazy, okay? So there are people in this game, me included, with billions of silver uh, who want to min-max everything. And there's people out there that on as soon as possible, they are going to want to craft as many of these war gloves as possible. So the way the, way the game is going to be working is the items will be able to drop, but they won't be craftable for a while. But once they're allowed to drop, people are going to put them in the market. And they're going to be bought out pretty quick by these whales. And so what you want to do is if you get one of these drops, you don't want to sell it at the average price. You actually want to sell these at the highest possible price. And people will buy them because they're going to be desperate to try to max out their crafting. And they're going to need the materials to do it. Now, before we talk more about crafting the items, another thing that's going to, going to happen is the price of Tomes of Insight are going to massively spike. Right now, as of filming this video, uh, 91421, uh, there are 29,000 silver, right? But when these, when when the battle gauntlets, when the, the war gauntlets, what are they called? The war gloves. When the war gloves go live, this, Tomes of Insight are going to jump way the heck up because every player that doesn't have fame credits stashed, every player that just wants to max out the new weapon tree, and there, there are some very wealthy people in this game. So what they're going to be doing is they're going to buy the heck out of the Tomes of Insight. This thing is probably going to shoot to 35 to 40k, possibly 50k. It happened when the Avalonian weapons came out because everyone just wanted to dump Tomes into the Avalonian weapons and max them out as fast as possible. So be ex like you should be saving these. Don't use them. Don't sell your Tomes of Insight. You need to you need to hold, okay? You need to hold on to these. And sell them when the, the battle gauntlets or the, the war gloves. I keep calling them the wrong thing. The war gloves. When the war gloves drop, that's when you want to sell your Tomes of Insight, okay? And, uh, you know, after like a couple weeks to a month, the, the price of the Tomes will go back to normal. And at that time, all that profit that you made, you can buy the Tomes back. It's completely fine. So what you need to do is 
Don't sell tomes of inside right now. Just don't. They're gonna they're gonna skyrocket in price. Now another thing is because uh, because these war gloves are part of the warrior tree, that means there's gonna be a high demand for blacksmithing laborers. Okay, I have plenty of videos on my channel that explain how to grow and how to level up laborers just doing anything in the game. Like. I level up laborers and then I sell them. So like a tier five blacksmith, right now they're about 44,000. These things will probably go to 80,000 or more because there's gonna be a huge demand. Everyone's gonna be crafting these gauntlets and they're going to need as many blacksmiths as possible so they can get some good returns on their crafting, right? So what you need to be doing right now is uh, growing blacksmiths. Uh, again, check out videos on my channel. I, I, it ex I explain exactly how that works. You basically just do dungeons and fill generalist journals and then you feed them to your blacksmiths and then you level the blacksmiths up and then let's say hit tier 5 or even tier 6, whatever you prefer, that's when you can sell them. And now, to, to level from tier 2 to tier 5 on a blacksmith, it's 10 days. It just takes 10 days worth of tomes and they're, like, like they cost 1,000 and then they sell for 44,000 right now. And like I said, you just hold on to them, wait for the battle gauntlets, the, the war gloves, I'm sorry, the war gloves... Wait for the war gloves to drop and then sell your blacksmiths. There will be so, so many people buying them, okay? Uh, so with these tips, you will be way better prepared when the war gloves actually drop, okay? And uh, that, that's that's just some basic quick tips, okay? Uh, I don't know if they're going to be any good. For all I know, they could be the next quickest dungeon clearing weapon. Or from the footage that I've seen... They have a basic reflect. They they crowd control people. It's just another initiate weapon. And these these these, these flanks turtle. What are they called? Flanks beetles are really ugly. And it's like one of the. This is like the ugliest, dumbest battle mounts in the game. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so there you go. With these tips, you will be ready for when the war gauntlets, war gloves. Oh my god! I can't get the name right. The War Gloves, when they drop, you will be absolutely ready for them. You can stay tuned to this channel. I'm going to cover the... <laughs> I still can't remember the name. The War Gloves! Uh, I'll cover the War Gloves on the test realm. We're going to see how much damage they do. I've went over all of the footage the SBI has put out and all the screenshots that they've, like, you know, hinted at. And uh, there are some bursty combos that can hit players for a, about a thousand damage without them able to escape. And that's not bad. That's actually pretty good. So... I don't know how it's going to do in dungeons or anything like that, but basically you want to take advantage when these things drop. People are going to be paying out the wazoo for the materials, just like they did Avalonian materials. Okay, like, uh, it, it, history repeats itself. Tomes of Insight, hold on to them. Grow, grow your blacksmiths. I've got videos on my channel that explain how to do that. Anyway, that'll have you fully prepared and, and you will not be blindsided or taken by surprise. I think they're going to be a fun and cool weapon. They might change the Corrupted Dungeon meta. But this isn't a really discussion about the weapon. This is just a discussion about what you need to do and what you need to prepare for right now so that you will be ready when they drop. And hey, it's Fame Week, so it's a really great time to start farming up your Fame credits and holding on to your Fame credits until the... War Gauntlets? What are they called? War Gloves! <laughs> uh, my brain is fried, guys. Uh, anyway, I'm Swole Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Leave a like and a comment. You gotta do both. It really helps me out. It is a YouTube combo. It is an algorithm cheat code, all right? So go ahead and do that. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I, my laborers are all gone. I did not restock laborers in my island. Wow, that's sad. Uh, it's been a while, guys. Uh, I've been sick. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully this helped you out. Uh, share it with your friends so that you can all, you know, <laughs> save up your tomes and yeah, just, uh, it's going to be a grand time. It's going to be really cool. These weapons are really neat and, uh, you'll be ready. You'll be ahead of the pack. You won't be in dungeons trying to level it up the normal way. You'll have already unlocked everything and you can go just straight to Poundtown. Anyway, take care lads. I'll see you in the next one.